Welcome to AP Outdoors. We are headed to a spot. Um, my dad showed me when I was younger and it used to be a bunch of ponds, but now there's a bunch of warehouses. Um, I haven't been here in a couple years. We're gonna see if there's any bass in this pond. Stay tuned, Let's see if we get some bass. Texas rig, like a crawl worm type of thing. But man, this is kind of low. I know it's been really warm out. Whew. Let's just see. There's so many bass in this little thing. They're like fucking lamb. Ooh. Oh, a lot of grass. Fucking nastiness. Backflip. Cats on the bank. Bring it in from the shore. Oh, there he hit it. Oh, I missed him. Oh. oh, he's got it. Oh, oh yeah. bigger one. That's probably the biggest one I've gotten out of here. Look at that. Heck yeah. Got him. Not a bad little bass. <laughs> All right. See how much bigger they can get. He slammed it. That's a crappie! What? I didn't know there was crappie in here? What the fuck? Oh heck no. Look at that crappie. That's super cool. It's a nice one too. Nice crappie. What? Alright. You guys are surviving, I'll let you go. He tried, he tried. There, I got him. Yep. Oh, yeah. Not a bad one. They're all like, 
pound, pound and a half. Another bass. Get out here. All right, we'll just skim it across the top. Skimming. There, got him. All right, that's a bigger one. Whoa. That's probably a couple pounder. Beautiful bass. I just can't believe how many are in here. That's insane. There's so many bass in here. I could literally sit here and just catch them. And they're stuck in this little fucking hole. Like they can't go nowhere. I'm just gonna skim it across the top. Got him. Oh, another two pounder for sure. Two, two and a half. That guy's been the mo eaten. Sheesh. All right, get out of here. Oh, I didn't wait. Gotta wait till you feel them. I didn't feel them. I didn't wait. So you gotta wait whenever you see them on top water like that until you actually feel something. I think they're starting to catch on. <laughs> there is another section. I don't know if there's any water in it. I'm pretty sure they would have migrated over to the one with the bigger water, so. Do one more cast. Deep. Oh yeah. Oh. go here in a second all right all right there he got it as soon as it hit the water Ugh. Let's go check out that other spot, see if there's any water in it. Looks like there is a little bit of water in here. I'm not sure if there's going to be any bass. That would be fucking crazy if there was. I don't know how deep that is. I don't, those don't look very deep at all. see anything spooking either I'll do one cast over there by those reeds and I think I'm pretty much done 
There's only so many bass you can catch in a little ass pond like that. They would have all went to the bigger pool. I can almost guarantee you. All right, we'll maybe go take another couple casts over here and call it. I didn't switch it at all. We just used this whole thing for all those bass. Lost the tail and uh, pretty split up. Yeah. Okay, so that was our little uh, our little bass hole. I mean, it's literally just a little pond. Normally, there's a little more water in it, but it's been pretty pretty dry. So, it used to be bigger when I was younger. But cool to see a crappie in there. That, that was a surprise. Also, we got uh, salmon season coming up next month. So um, we will be hitting up the Puyallup, um, the Nisqually. So I might even hit up the green a little bit. We'll see, I've never fished it, but I got some buddies that want to take me out there and, and do some um, fishing out on the green. So um, I hope you enjoyed watching some of this bass action. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll talk to y'all later. Peace.